gone are the days of using heavy duty, bad smelling, need gloves up to your elbow stuff to clean your engine compartment and wheel wells. The first thing we're gonna start with, we've pulled the wheel off and uh, we're going to clean, start cleaning the inside of the wheel well. So you've got a number of materials in here that we have to work with. So you have to really be careful not to have something that's too invasive that's going to actually tear up some of the paint in here or maybe some, remove some of this uh, or stain the metals. I mean, it, we really have to be careful. So what we're starting with is a citrus degreaser. In this case, this is the new Meguiar's Detail Series, uh, Citrus Power. And I'm just gonna spray it liberally. And probably agitate it with a brush here. Uh, we're working inside a garage as well, so in this case we won't be rinsing the car, we'll simply be wiping it off. Basically we'll give it some heavy spray in there, let it sit for a minute or two. I'm going to get a little brush to agitate. It's basically a two inch chip brush. This is as cheap and easy as it gets. You find these at the hardware store for 70, 80 cents. And then the good thing is you can scrub all day and then just throw them away when you're done. But I'm not looking to go too crazy. It's actually pretty good. The nice thing about these Porsches too, which is typical of a lot of modern cars, is that the, they're, they have plastic liners on the inside of the wheel well. So once you clean up the plastic, which cleans up really easily, uh, what I was trying to do here is just to scrub out some of the dirt that's in between on the uh, stone guarded parts. So this stone guard is a, a product that's actually under the paint and it has this texture finish to it. That's why you need something to get in there and just to scrub it a little bit. Typical of these cars, so you know, they've been pampered most of their lives. This is a car from the south, so it's not like I have a lot of problems with salt and corrosion and that sort of thing. It cleans right up. We continue scrubbing this a little bit and then we're gonna wipe it off. People always ask me too about uh, microfiber towels and I use them all the time for just about everything. But there is hierarchy involved. When towels are brand new, I typically use them on uh, outside paint work and things that are important. But by the time they've been washed three, four, five times, uh, they end up becoming wheel well towels like these are. And yes, you can wash microfiber towels and yes, they can be reused. Uh, probably one of the most asked questions I have is, uh, what do I do with my microfiber towels? I just throw them away when I'm done. Well, you don't need to really do that. So we've got this uh, scrubbed down and clean. We're gonna just wipe and see what we kind of, see how it progressed. The nice thing too about these citrus degreasers is that they are very low. They don't have a bad smell to them. They smell like oranges typically, and, uh, but they cut very quickly and very fast and makes, makes you look like you spent all day on it and it's pretty easy. Gone are the days of using heavy duty, bad smelling, need gloves up to your elbow stuff to clean your engine compartment and wheel wells. What I typically like to do with these plastic panels once I get once they dry, there's a couple of different ways of going at it. Um, I, I'd be willing to try some of the new ceramic sprays that are out there, the ceramic quick detailers and that sort of thing. Uh, my go-to is always, uh, and I stay away from body shops with this, but I use the uh, plain old silicone spray and uh, spray it on pretty heavily and let it sit for a couple of hours and then buff it off. It tends to bite into the plastic a little bit and leave a very slick finish that's easily cleaned later on. Support brands that support classic motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.